sentiment. We should be clear in our songs and clear in our talks because we want this thing to be prevented so we cannot stop. By use of condoms, teach them abstinence and also sincerity and also to be open to your partner. Thank you very much. As these women, they are going to be open in the, in the community. They are the people to teach others that it is better to be open so that we try to prevent our young ones from getting infection. Thank you very much. You know, most of the women, for the, we even cook them, we teach them how to, cook. how to cook. Sometimes they don't know how to uh -huh. cook. The hygiene, cleanliness in the homes. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. women are not supposed to go to the pit latrines. To the toilet, uh -huh. so, because when you go, they say that you cannot produce. So we have got a demonstration pit latrine in our mm. center, where they come. We say it's normal; people should do this. Mm. You know, you keep your area clean. Mm. So now they are getting used to. This is Teresa. She's a disabled lady. She has five children. She's a single mother, and she has no home where to live. And the, the the organization is putting up a building for her, a structure, so that she can live with her children. But at the moment, she lives here. She feeds here at the center. We look after her. You know, here when you are disabled here, nobody, the community think that it's a curse. People don't be near you. And the men who pregnanted her, they are nowhere to be seen. I think they deceived her and then when she's pregnant, they run away. They don't want even to be pointed at. So she's just with the children, struggling with the children. Some are at school and we give books and uniform to the children. Mm. But she's a hard-working lady. Mm. She knows how to make crafts, beads, and she does it herself. You can see some beads she has made herself. Those are the beads she has. <laughs> <laughs> we share. Okay. This is one of the children. Mm. And this is one of her children. She's in a P2. P1. She's in primary one. This Smile. <laughs> 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 constructing for Teresa to live with her children because at the moment she lives on the street. So we are going to put her here and give her an essential needs for her children and herself. Let's say books for the children because she has grown up children and will go to school. But if we put up this, I think she will be very happy. Are you happy? We had enough food and we had cotton, we had rails. So our life was quite different. So when I was married, my husband did not take me there until I had four children. Mm -hmm. I even swear, even if I had to go, I would not have gone back. I would refuse. I would mm -hmm. divorce him immediately. But he was clever. Mm -hmm. So, so when I went there, I found people were walking naked. People were just sitting like this. Mm -hmm. A girl, when she starts her menstruation, she digs a hole. Mm -hmm. to sit there for three days. She sits there until night, then she goes to what? To sleep. Life was so bad that I said, then when I went to, I was in Kabul, I, I called the women, I said, now, what are we going to do? This is a grinding mill which is donated to the, us to help the community around here because we found out that this community, they were boiling maize and boiling sorghum, but it was not very healthy for the kids and the pregnant mothers. So we, dis we, we asked for this grinding meal and we were given to help the community here 
to be healthy. So we they grind at a very low cost. It is a very affordable cost for the community. And the members, the registered members of Aware Uganda, formerly Kabong Women's Group, they their price rate of grinding is very reduced to a very low price. So we always help even the other communities, they benefit. You can see the kids around, the women around here, they always come for service here. They grind their <laughs> Jerican for water. We have water guards to purify the water. We have two heads to protect them from malaria so that mosquito bite does not bite them to have this, uh, this some diseases which come, you know. So we want to protect them from all those. So this one helps them to keep their water clean. And the whole family, when we give them, it serves the whole family. And if there are two people who are HIV positive, we give one so that they share the, the mosquito net and they, all the family drinks water which is put here. When I went, I said, no, I called the women. Ajilong was there. I said, what are we going to do? Is this life? Are we going to be like this? Let's wake up. I called these women. I said, now, come, let us be together. So when I sent the message, as if I was saying there was a food, something, mm. five women, 500 women came. Then we had a meeting, we shared. We said, I told them the example of people in our area. Mm. I said, women, we don't sit. We are doing this. We are yeah. doing business. People are going to the garden. People are not lazy. People are hard working. And through hard work, that's how you can, you know, become somebody also. And education is the best. Let us send children to school. They don't okay. We have nothing to do. I said, now what we are going to do, we are going to plant trees. Mm. And it is the fruit trees. This is the garden where Kabong Women's Group started. In 25 years ago.